Good morning, my name is Marla Hegel and I am the owner and designated broker of Windermere Real Estate here on beautiful Camino Island and Stanwood. I am here to run you through the January 2022 Market Insights, hot off the press. Here we go. Camino Island, January ended with an average sale price of $829,250. There were 12 active listings on the market at the end of the month. 22 homes sold during the month of January, also year to date. Those 22 homes were on the market an average of 16 days and they sold at about 2% over list price. Stanwood, the average sale price for the month of January was 534,364. There were only 10 active listings at the end of January. There had been 25 homes sold in January those homes were on the market an average of 16 days and they sold also at 2% over list price. Here's how those 22 homes broke down. It looks like 33.3% of those homes were over $1 million. That's what's leading to that elevated average sale price for January. 14.3 under 400, nine and a half between four and 500, 14.3, also between five and 600, 23.8 between six and eight, and 4.8% between eight and nine. Definitely the largest piece of the pie is the 1 million plus. Stanwood, it looks like 72% of the 25 homes sold in January were between five and 600. And I know that these um, donut charts are going to look a lot different as the year progresses. We're just dealing with not very much data for January, 22 homes and 25 homes in Stanwood and Camino, respectively. Our average sale price, because of all those higher end homes that sold on Camino, our sale price jumped up for average sale price jumped up 41% in January and it stayed the same compared to last January in Stanwood. Now, I like I said in the last slide, I believe this was, will change dramatically as we go throughout the year. This sale price trend chart also shows um, the difference in just January, Stanwood's price being down, Camino's price being up. Let's dig into the January details for Camino Island. There were 24 new listings in January. That's 20% or four more listings than we had added last January, which really seems amazing because it feels like we have a lot less inventory, although we did add four more listings this year than last. Pending stayed exactly the same as last year and solds were down 47%. That is because we entered the year with much lower inventory than we have in previous years. We're still, still deep into a seller's market on Camino with 0.9 months of inventory. January in Stanwood looked quite a bit different. Um, new listings, there were 20% less new listings added in Stanwood, 44 compared to 55 last year at this time. There were 21% uh, more pendings. Pendings are always a sign of good things to come, 46 compared to 38, and solds down 17%, 45 versus 54 last year. 0.6 months of inventory, that's a little over two weeks in Stanwood, meaning if no other listings were added to the market, it would take us about two weeks to sell the inventory that we have. Looking at our market share, Camino Island, we have about 35-36% uh, market share with 392 sales over the last 12 months. In Stanwood, we have about 20% market share with 250 sales over the last 12 months. January 2022 in Stanwood and Camino Island ended slower than January 2021 in sales, pending sales, and new listings. The only increase was in the average sale price, 681,807 in our combined market for January. Despite the slower January, we see signs of a busy spring market ahead. Here's a quote. 
The year started off with more of a whimper than a boom, thanks to the listing inventory being lower than any January on record, observed Matthew Gardner, chief economist with Windermere. The average sale prices rose less than 1% in Stanwood and rose 41% on Camano Island at the end of January compared to last year. The inventory levels were a different story. There were 42 fewer Stanwood listings and 20% more Camino Island listings added to our inventory in January. There were 40 homes sold in zip codes 98282 and 98292 in January. This was down 45% from a year ago. This is no surprise considering the low inventory. Here's some advice to sellers. Although the pundits expect prices to continue to increase in our market, we should not expect the same drastic price increases that we experienced last year. We expect many more listings to hit the market this spring and a small decrease in the buyer pool due to increasing interest rates. These two things may help keep the prices level. I'm glad to hear the phone ringing here. That's a sign of good things to come. <laughs> Buyers, we expect many new listings to hit the market this spring, like we told the sellers. That being said, interest rates are slowly on the rise. We do not expect the buyer pool to diminish too much, especially in the Stanwood and Camano Island markets. Be sure and work with a local agent. Be ready and don't give up. Here at Windermere, our reaction to the local market, dedication to the community, and commitment to our trade is why we help our clients buy and sell more real estate in Stanwood and Camano Island than any other company. Thanks for watching, and we are all in for you.